Hey guys, Steve Chase here. I want to talk about payments to deposit, working with QuickBooks Online. So basically, the undeposited funds has changed. Some of the versions are now saying payments to deposit. I'm guessing you have stumbled upon that in your QuickBooks, and here you are watching this video. So let me explain how undeposited funds works, aka payments to deposit. So the best example I can share with you is you receive two or more checks or cash payments and you're going to the bank and you're going to combine multiple payments from customer invoices at one time and make the post. So when you try to do a bank reconciliation, there, there's going to be one number that shows the total amount of the deposit for that day. But behind the scenes, there's going to be multiple transactions. In this example, I'm going to share with you receiving payment for 10000 and 14,000 and then properly matching it to the bank feeds here. So let's go ahead and start. All right, I'm going to share with you what our goal is we're trying to match up this $14,000 bank deposit and that equals two checks. Okay, so the first step was going to be let me go ahead and run my accounts receivable aging summary report. Here we have the two invoices here. I'm going to go in the past and mark them paid. So we'll make the first $10,000 a check payment. And we'll reference this 301 check. We'll deposit it to the payments to deposit. Or if your version says undeposited funds, you could use undeposited funds. And just make sure that the date, let's imagine we received this back on January 15th. Okay, so I'm going to save and close that out. Okay, if I run my balance sheet real quick, I'm going to see that we have $10,000 in the other current asset to be deposited later. Okay, let me move this 4000 into it. Let me open this up. We'll receive this check on 125. Check. Okay. And to the payments to deposit or undeposited funds. Okay. So now, if we ran our balance sheet, we should have $14,000 as of today in the payments to deposit. And our goal is to get it inside of the bank account. Okay, so if we go here, big mistake I see happens is um, folks will see, oh, okay, we got fourteen thousand coming in. You know, you kind of come in here and you, well, that was Alpha Omega, right? And then services and so forth, and add it. And that's a huge mistake. If you did that, we've doubled up our income. So no, 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 no. Uh, only if you're not, you know, if you're taking the time to create invoices, you got finish up the deposits as well. So we get there by clicking on the plus new sign, bank deposit. Choose the date that the deposit was, and it was February 1. We check off one or more checks here. You can see here the 10. We've got our numbers matching. Now it's just a matter of selecting the correct bank account. Once we have that in play, we can save and close. And we'll go match it. As beautiful right here. So it picked up on the match. If you're doing cleanup and this was like six months ago, you will have to click for other matches to have the system kind of go out there and find it. And it should pick up on it just fine. So we match it. And that is the way we can handle undeposited funds slash funds to deposit. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos to come.